got a fucking ABS for me, bastard on that. Huh? I thought it was because I had my battery disconnected, my battery went flat. I thought it'd reset, but it fucking hadn't. ABS warning, skid check, and hand brake sign. The brake fluid below. I've jinxed it, that's what it is. Someone asked me in the comments, how you got on with your, your van, because you had any problems with it? I said, no, I've had fuck all wrong with it in three years. Well, they had a gearbox the wrong way, and that changed the gearbox. And now that I've jinxed myself. What the fuck, it's not great for it. Oh dear. Anyway, what are we doing today? Oh yeah, gearbox out today, I think, anyway. Let's see what there is to do there. Let's see if they do have to have a gearbox out. A poor little man. You'll be okay, little man. You'll be okay. We'll get through this. It's only a little fault. Right, this job was uh, one of the last jobs I did before Christmas. Starting, it was, uh, had trouble starting. And uh, I was hoping it was just going to be a starter motor, but it never had that easy, is it? It was the, uh, the flywheel is, well, the ring gear on the flywheel is absolutely shot to shit. So I'm just gonna, uh, this is where I parked it before Christmas, and I'm hoping it's gonna start. Because if not, I have to go underneath and turn the ring gear. She struggled. This means I can get it in the workshop. So I don't want to be working outside because it's pissing it down with rain. Right, let's see what's got here. That was weird. I went into my uh, van to get my tools out. I thought, where are all my tools gone? They're normally just all on the floor. But it made a change. I had to go in my toolbox, open my drawers and get my tools out. It was ever so quick. I might have to keep it that way, you know, Tyler. Right, what we've got here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take this gearbox out. Here, look. On this stone, yeah? Uh, I've done a tutorial of uh, how to of how to remove a gearbox on a Scania. Yeah? So I'm not going to tell you how to, because it's boring doing the same thing twice. So if you want to know how to, look at my previous video. I'm just going to whiz this out as quick as humanly possible. So yeah, let's get cracked up. <laughs> Fucking hate these ridges with these long props. Remove that one, centre bearing, and remove that one down there because I need it all on the floor, the prop shaft, all of it on the floor and out the way, so I can get the gearbox out. But they're just a bit awkward, like. She needs to hold the weight up of them, really. But they might. Stop moaning, Chris. Just get on with it. And the fuck up. I'm gonna tie this rope around it, that way I can lower it down nice and gently. Now I'm just gonna tap it off at the front, and then Lower it all down nice and gently. Got enough space now to get the gearbox out, can't I? My good old gearbox. My kids are funny. I said, hey dad, you know now you're a YouTuber, you can start selling your own merch, can't you? I said, oh, that's a good idea, kid. I'll start selling hats and braces, shall I? And, uh, and the holy jeans, you know, these scruffy jeans lot. <laughs> I said, in fact, kids, in fact, all my merch is already in stock, in it, at the local charity shop. That's where I get all my stuff from. I want to pick some my clothes up from the local charity shop. So, lads, merch is out now at your local charity shop. Go grab your merch. Right, I need to get the cabal. I'm just cracking off these gearbox mounting bolts so they're loose so I'm not struggling about when the gearbox jacks in here. And I'm going to remove some eat some hard to get to bellizing bolts, the hard ones to get at. Because again, I don't want to be struggling about over the big gearbox jack, do I? Tell you what I'm missing, don't you? A radio. I could do really with purchasing one of them uh, battery radios, couldn't I? I've always thought this, you know. You know, just my key to radio. Because I eat it when it's quiet. You know when you work on your own and it's quiet, there's no radio, it's like fucking. It seems a long old day, doesn't it? If you've got a radio playing, obviously, it's like a bit of company, isn't it? So I think that might have to be a next purchase. Clutch, so, well, on this. 
I just had a thought as well, before I get that big gearbox jack in, I'm gonna try and get this clip undone. Now this clutch don't look very old, so I'm hoping it just comes out the normal way. I'll show you. I have done a video on that as well, but still. I'll do it again on this one, because they are a fucking nightmare, they are. Now, I need to move the flywheel again. But someone said on the video, on that other video, you know when I moved the flywheel on another video, I moved it under this cover, you have recesses in your uh, in your flywheel. And I got my pry bar in and moved it like that. And one of the lads said that you shouldn't really do that because uh, their recesses in that flywheel is, there's a sensor that senses them. So if you like scruff them up or out, it brings a fucking warning light on your dash. So don't turn it there. So I've just been lucky, thinking, well, I'm gonna turn the flywheel now, I can't turn it on that. And look what they've got here, look, on these scanners, which I didn't know about. Let me just look at it now. Look, look at this, look. Look, a nice little wind gear, look. Hey, you're never too old for learning here. So I'm gonna get me a uh, ply bar in there and turn it with that. I'm just turning it now, just so I can get the clip in the right place. That clip there, I'm gonna get my pry bar in that clip and spread that clip apart and put pressure on the release bearing towards the back. It looks nearly new, look that. Well, it don't look very old, does it? So hopefully it should come out all right. Let's give it a go anyway. Oh, maybe she's come off. Look, she's actually come free. Look at that, look. As if by magic. I thought I might stand a chance of getting that, being as it looks quite new. So, we're home sailing, aren't we? Uh, gearbox jack in. Uh, gearbox mounts off. Pull her out. try and get it as level as possible because I don't want this to move. When I take the gearbox out, I don't, the last thing I want is for it to move because then it's ball it going back in again, isn't it? Even though I know for a fact it will move, it'll either slant one way, slant the other way, twist around this way, twist around the way, because it always does. But I'm going to try and rest this time not to. Oh, what was that? Uh, just got sidetracked again. I had to change someone's wheel because they had a flat tyre. I had to do a lighting fault. Uh, I've had my dinner, now where am I? Right, where have we got to? Right, I'll show you. Right, I've propped my gearbox up there best I can, and I've put them wood there so the engine, when I pick the up, fucker, and I've put some chocks there so when I take the gearbox mounts off the top, I'm going to leave these bellards, a few of these bellards in bolts in, take the gearbox mount bolts off, and then lower it down and lower the engine onto that them chocks there. And then I'm going to remove the rest of my bellards in bolts, and she'll be away with the mixer. Didn't have it jacked up enough, I don't think. No, I didn't. Right, now we'll lower it down. That'll do. Take the bellizing bolts out. Come join me at the top as we remove the last of the bellizing bolts. Right, now we should just pry bar that out. I need to go down with me jack. So I'll go down with me jack and I'll slide around. I'll leave you up here. Hello, it's me, Chris. I'm in the gearbox. Hello, little gearbox. Hello, clutch. Ah, this is what we wanted to see. The good old clutch. I'm going to remove it. Now this clutch plate. Pressure plate I'm going to remove. And the clutch plate. And the fucking thing in there as well, aren't I? I am. I banged my head in and it hurts. It really hurts. 
I need to get out now, don't I, to get some sockets and that. So I see there's, there's one of two choices. I can either get out this way or I can get out under that way. What's the easiest? Down below, I think. Yes, I'm going down below. See you shortly. Bye. You haven't seen my little whisk copper gun? It's here, look. I'm looking for it and it's here. You've got it, my little whisk popper. Come along, see the show. You can come down here with me, can't you? Right, what are we doing now? Taking this up. Oh yeah, so I've got stock in there, haven't I? That little stand of mine you. It's a lovely little stand. Thank you, Santa, it's a lovely stand. That ain't very old, that ain't. That's what we want, not the flywheel. Ah, someone says uh, they used to take the ring gear off the outside, which I've done that before as well in the past. If you warm the ring gear up, well, if you just chuck the old ring gear off, on some of them, I don't know about this one, but on some of them, you could chuck the old ring gear off and to get the new ring gear on, when it when the new one comes, ring gear, it's fucking tiny. You think you, you put it up to your flywheel, you think well, it's never gonna fucking fit on it. And if you warm it up, glowing red hot, you can see the fucking thing expanding. Then all of a sudden you go clunk, sit on it, then once it cools down, it shrinks again and is as tight as a tight could be. Right, guys, whip these bolts off now and take this flywheel off. Interesting. As well, when I crack these off, let's crack these off with a bar, and I'll have to jam a ply bar in this ring gear hole here, won't I? You know that little hole what I found earlier? <laughs> beauty. What a beauty. Come on, move out my way. I need space to breathe, man. You're too big in here. Oh, stay there then. That's the thing. Oh, I tried again. I've got disturbed again. Talking wheel nuts up there. I can't get on again. Right. Uh, yes, we're going to remove this, aren't we? Ah, 24 mil they are. They are FT. Oh, yes. I'm not going to pull my guts out. I'm going to get a bigger bar. Put my little foot on that fly bar. Let's see if they can withstand my three quarter inch. They was tight. They were very tight. But the mighty three quarter inch power bar is far too good for them. I got a bit of a dab on now, sweating. Whew. Right now we'll get the impact bar. Just give it a little wiggle. Come on, he said just give it a wiggle and it's not coming off. I wasn't lying, look, look. See, it's off now. Told you just to wiggle it. Ooh. We have a crank seal leaking as well. Oh, that ring gear. It's a beauty, that is. Look at all that oil lock. That seal needs changing as well, look. While all this is off. Because I'd be a stupid man to put that all back together with a leaking seal, wouldn't I? Oh. Well, that's put a stop to this job then, hasn't it? I was hoping to get this done tonight, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to because I haven't got a seal. Oh dear. Hmm. So I've got to change that now. I've got to order that now, haven't I? I'll get this flywheel out and show it you. I lied to you just then, it didn't have two locating pegs, it just has one on that end. But anyway, that doesn't matter right Now what matters is that. Oh, look at that. She is a beauty. It's just, it never goes right, does it? Nothing ever goes right. You know it's not gonna go right anyway, don't you? I could have done without this, really. Mind you, hopefully they'll get me the part out for tomorrow and I can do it tomorrow can't I? I've got plenty of other stuff to get cracked on with today anyway here yeah, so 
Never mind. Just one of them things, isn't it? Don't cry over spilled milk. No, but you spilled my milk, Chris. Yeah, but don't cry over it. Right, I'm going to ring up these parts. I've just looked at that film footage back because I thought, well, best make sure it hasn't recorded. Because loads of times I press record, I'm there talking to the camera. Not even fucking recorded. Waste of time, aren't I? Just talking to the camera. Uh, just rang scan you up. Yeah, they're not answering. Just looked at my film footage and it looks like I've got a Uno brow. That's it. They're nice eyebrows, but it's, they are. it's the new brow look. Right, let me ring scan you up. Again. I can't get through to him. What if they see my number come up and think, oh no, it's Chris, don't answer it. Or do you reckon they might have fucked off home? It is about half full. They couldn't go home half full, surely, could they? Surely not. Could they? Could they? Mm, I don't know. Might do. I've got a lighting fault now. Fuse keeps blowing on the lorries. Yeah, that'll do for the today. I uh, I did that lighting fault, it was a bulb, uh, bulb holder corroded. So I changed that, it's all right now, not blowing fuses. What else was there? Oh, and then a driver come in with no indicator. So I had to repair the wiring on that as well. So uh, that'll do, won't it, for today? We'll have to, uh, have to do that seal tomorrow, won't I? As long as I get the seal, I still haven't got in contact with Scania. I rang up again, no end of time. Still can't get through to it. So I'm gonna have to bring another depot tomorrow, I think. So uh, I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. See you later. Choo-choo! Choo-choo!